Hello all, my name is Shi Yuxuan from Nanjing University. Today I'm going to share with you our paper, Efficient Computation of Semantically Cohesive Subgraphs for Keyword Based Knowledge Graph Exploration. When it comes to keyword search, we know it's an intuitive way to explore the contents of a large and complex knowledge graph, for example, to search for the relation between Barbara Bush and James Roosevelt. The blue subgraph is a possible answer. It says that Barbara Bush is the grandchild of George H. W. Bush. James Roosevelt is the child of Franklin D. Roosevelt. George H. W. Bush and Franklin D. Roosevelt, who are both presidents of the United States, are descendants of Annie Hutchinson. One of the most popular methods to answer keyboard queries to model the problem as Group standard tree GST. However, GST doesn't consider semantic. Consider the Bush Roosevelt example again. The orange subgraph is a simple graph since Barbara Bush drove Mercedes, which was made in Germany. And it happens that James Roosevelt visited Germany. The graph does contain some information, but not very helpful. On the contrast, the blue subgraph is more complex but describes meaningful relationships between Barbara Bush and James Roosevelt. We call the blue subgraph a semantically cohesive subgraph. Now we formulate the problem. In a knowledge graph, we have node weights and semantic distance. Node weights can be any non-negative function. Semantic distance can be any distance function. Keyword query is a list of G keywords. Keyword mapping maps each keyword to keyword no set. We need to find a tree covering all keywords. For example, the keyword query is K1, K2, and K3. Keyword mapping map is K1 to A, K2 to D, K3 to F, and G. Then the purple subtree A, E, G, D, and the red subtree A, B, F, C, D are both candidates. The proposed problem, quadratic group standard tree problem, minimizes a cost function like this, which is a linear combination of node weights and pairwise semantic distance. Given the weight function SD and the semantic distance function SD, it's easy to verify that the red subtree is the optimal answer by reducing vertex weighted standard tree problem to QGSTP. We prove QGSTP is NP hard. So, in this paper, we focus on designing efficient approximation algorithms for QGSTP. First of all, we define relevant parse sets, RPS, even a rooted tree and root R. An R RPS is a set of G passes in the rooted tree connecting the roots and each keyword. This is the root tree with root f. The RPS consists of parse f to keyword a, f to keyword k2, b, f to keyword k3, f. All the passes that are originated from the rooted tree. We define vnum as the number of vertices in the RPS. The origin tree have five vertices, while the RPS VNUM is six. VNUM is actually the critical definition in our paper. Then we give the scheduler of our path-based approximation. Since RPS and its answer tree can be easily transformed into each other, ours Solution is simply finding the optimal RPS and transforming it to an answer tree. We carefully design a p-course function for RPS to assure minimizing p-course guarantees the approximation ratio specifically. P-course of RPS is a linear combination of node weight and the VNAL times the semantic distance between roots and all vertices in the RPS, then we can prove approximation like this. 
g minus one square. Now we introduce our quality oriented algorithm QO. It finds a locally mean p cos RPS for each root node and then transfer the globally mean p cos RPS to the answer tree. We can prove the approximation ratio is two times g minus one square and the time complexity here. The approximation ratio is okay because g is really very small and actually it performs much better than the ratio. And but the time complexity is terrible. We will deal with it later. The critical issue is how to find a locally mean p cos RPS for each root node. We call the procedure find RPS. We write p cos like this. The first item is a constant. The, the second term is the sum of red parts of G passes. If we enumerate all way now, then for each part, its red part is a constant. And we can model minimizing P course as a knapsack problem. Total weight is V0. Items are parties. Weight of each item is the number of edges in the parts. Value of each item is the red part. The classic dynamic programming solution is enough. The procedure is slow because for each possible way now, we need to recompute the value of each pass and then perform the dynamic programming. Now we deal with the running time of QO. Recall QO needs to invoke find RPS n times, which is the bottom neck of the algorithm to speed it up. One possible way is to perform fewer find RPS. Another possible way is to make find RPS faster. In efficiency oriented algorithm EO, we find a locally mean p cos RPS for one k word no set. If EO performs fewer find RPS, as a result, the approximation ratio is g minus one square times v, which is unacceptable. But in practice, it's almost as good as QO. In terms of time complexity, it's the same as QO, which is also unacceptable. But in practice, it's much faster because it performs fewer fine RPS. To fasten fine RPS, we propose three pruning strategies. First, pruning small n, the start point of v now. It means we need at least the n node to cover all k words. Second, pruning large n, the end point of v now. It means when n is too large, it's impossible to find a small RPS. Third, pruning large n, the max hop of parses. It means there is no need to use more hops when m is large enough. All strategies doesn't affect the time complexity and approximation ratio. These strategies are closely integrated with the specific knapsack model we built. It's not that interesting to see the details here. We will dismiss them. Furthermore, we propose a root vertex ranking strategy. The intention is that if we find a small RPS earlier, we can prune RPS earlier. We rank all vertices according to their smallest possible way now. The total hops from roots to all keywords. It's implemented by performing G breadth first search, which is relatively neglectable compared to the time complexity of algorithm QO and EO. Here are the experiments to evaluate algorithm Q and EO. We use a wide range of data sets, small, medium, and large knowledge graphs, plenty of k-world queries, random and real-world queries, different cost functions, page rank, angular distance, and jacquard distance. As there is no knowing algorithm for QGSTB, we compute QO and EO and compare them 
to the SOTA GST based algorithm, BPBF and Banks 2. Q is definitely very slow. Note that QGSTB is harder than GST. It's not bad to say EO is comparable to Banks 2. However, on large graphs like DPPedia, EO takes more than 100 seconds for just one query. There's still room for improvements on large node graphs. Consider approximation ratio. Compared to optimal QGSTB answers computed by exhaustive search, both QO and EO can compute small cost answers, while EO takes much less time. We break down the results by G by increasing G. The approximation ratio of the two algorithms grows slowly. Next, using GST answer trick computed by DBBF as baseline, we compute the cohesiveness ratio QO and EO can compute the cohesive results up to four times as cohesive as traditional minimal weight GST answers. Besides, there's a ablation study to evaluate our heuristics. All the heuristics help to reduce the running time. Pruning small and pruning larger are crucial. We also conduct a user study to demonstrate the effectiveness of semantically cohesive answers. EO achieve higher scores than DBBF. The differences are statistically significant. In conclusion, algorithm Q and EO achieve a better trade-off between silence and cohesiveness. Algorithm EO can efficiently compute small cost answers. If you are interested, please check our implementation and results on GitHub. In our future work, we hope to find better approximation algorithm for QGSTB, including better approximation ratio and better scalability. And we hope to apply QGSTB to other domains. Thank you for your time.